hello 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 everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel here and this is the daily forecast where i will give you the forecast of the energy um that is to come what you could be dealing with or what you are going to be dealing with so yeah i'm sending you all love life healing and blessings and let's get grounded. Let, let's tap in. Let, let's see what's going on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's begin. hear a little noise in the background that's my baby so yeah let's tap in so spirit what's going on for the daily forecast what's the, what is the daily forecast for my viewers what is the daily forecast for my viewers Ooh. so we have card number 53 opposition confrontation hmm so okay <clears throat> There could be a p opposing forces coming for you at this time. Somebody could want to confront you. Somebody could be in competition with you. Or you could want to confront somebody about something here. But it, it's, it's, it's like, yeah, there's some sort of competi competitive um, energy here. Could be something or someone from your past. With the south node. Hold on, let, me, let me show you. So not pass. So yeah, something um karmic or it could be something karmic from your past. Are there something that you need to confront from your past here? Something that possibly needs to be settled. Take it as it resonates for you. Okay. One more. <coughs> have card number 23 jupiter abundance okay so you could be very abundant at this time you could be like expanding here at the bottom of the deck we have trying sextile symbiosis one second okay i'm back sorry about that but yeah um so at the bottom of the deck we have um as i said trying sex uh, symbolsis here so this could be about you you know collaborating with people who may not be exactly the same like you but it's like what they do complement you know your work whatsever you have going on so it's like each one help and so i have a skill that can help you you have a skill that can help me so it's like yeah something like that so let, let's see what's going on well, what is the opposition here let's let's find out what is the op opposition what could be coming against you or working against you at this time what do you need to confront so spirit clarify um opposition clarify opposition please Clarify opposition. Clarify opposition. Oh. Clarify opposition, please. Clarify opposition. Clarify opposition, please. Okay, so we have the magician here. So you could be manifesting something here. Or this could be something that you are manifesting. Or somebody is manifesting something here. Or somebody could be manifesting 
a missed opportunity or a rejection. Take take it as it resonates for you. Lord of mercy. No, Matthew. Yeah, let's continue. You could be the inter Gemini. Clarify opposition, please, straight. Clarify opposition, please. We have judgment. Scorpionic energy you could be dealing a Scorpio here, but judgment has been called here. Or something that could have been brought to somebody's attention. Clarify opposition. Hmm. Hmm. and the judgment is two major outcomes. We have the Queen of Pentacles. This could be regarding finances or um, somebody's work. Yeah, it could be something about somebody's finances here. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> you could be dealing with a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. You could be uh, you could be a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. But yeah, you could be also very loving, caring, intuitive. This Queen of Cups energy. Clarify. Now, as I said before, you can be a male or a female and represent any of these cards here. It's just energy, okay? Right, so two of cups here. So something about a partnership, relationship here. I'm hearing that you could have saw something. To your third eye. You could have saw something. No, no, baby. No. <laughs> cool. Oh, I just want you to upload. Yeah, what I was saying, but anyways, some more opposition, please. Clarify opposition, please, spirit. Clarify opposition. Mateo. No. You're just curious. Oh. Oh my god. You. <laughs> Clarify opposition, spirit. Mm, ten of swords, so okay. Something could have came to an end here. Yeah, there could have, could have been some betrayal here with the Three of Swords. In a partnership, somebody could have dated a partnership here. Give me some more, please, Spirit. Give me some more on this, please. What's going on here? Somebody could be oh shoot withholding some information at this time here. Somebody could be gossiping. Somebody could be speaking some I don't know. Let's see. Give me some more on this spirit. I wanna see what this is. Give me some more on this. Man of Pentacles. So yeah, somebody wanted somebody here possibly to be in the nine of wands, wounded, um, mentally exhausted, you know, defeated here, possibly over their finances here. Somebody could have been speaking negatively over somebody's finances here with the nine of pentacles here. Somebody like, oh boy. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, as I was seeing here, but um, yeah, this is most definitely about somebody's um stability, stability here. Look, Ace of Swords. <coughs> yeah, somebody doesn't want me to talk about this. <coughs> my throat is closing. Oh my God. 
So somebody could be working on somebody's finances here. Seven of Wands. This could be someone that you're in a partnership with or a relationship. This can even be a friendship. But say I have a close relation. This is with a two of cups. Because the two of cups, this is a close relation between two people here. Whatsoever. <coughs> of pentacles you could be receiving something here from someone Yeah, I'm back um, again. Oh Lord, why this keep going on like right that? Uh. Right, so as I said before, it's a sword. So somebody could be feeling stuck in their head, trapped mentally. Yeah, sword so is here because so possible because something has came to an end here. It's like like somebody did too much here so it's like this person could be feeling attached or you could be holding back from this person or this person could be holding back from you yeah they're being childish and immature give me some more mm -hmm. this could have been a group here that was speaking something over your finances here. Mm -hmm. There's a group of people here saying some sort of incantation. I also here could have, um, they could have been projecting some sort of energy towards you to do something. Page of Pentacles. Hmm, somebody could want to give you something here. Yeah, somebody could want to make some sort of small offer of something. Let's see, give me some more on this situation. The High Priestess. Ace of Swords. And the Seven of Cups. Cups, eight of cups. Okay, so we have a queen of pentacles here. Under her is the ace of swords, and on top of those two is the high priestess. Okay, so this queen of pentacles here could be a high priestess here. <clears throat> Uh, somebody could be getting some truth here, truth here through some sort of um some gift they have, whether it be empathic, psychic, a dream, whatever. Somebody could have saw yeah seven of cups could have saw something here, possibly about somebody walking away from a ten of cups, possibly a family, a king of swords. Or you could have some sort of into yeah you could. Have, have some sort of intuitive knowing that somebody here is coming towards you. They are leaving something behind to come towards you. Alright. Mm -mm 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 -mm. yeah. You are somebody's empress. Who said, whoever you are, male or female. But you are you're, you're somebody's here um, divine feminine or empress or whatsoever. yeah mm. somebody could be waiting on something here possibly for them to be able to sneak away here or even travel yeah but something is a bit difficult now i'm getting well we have the six of swords here so yeah somebody's most definitely def yeah this emperor oh
Who did the Pisces, Taurus, or Libra? Mm -mm, one more card, please. Oop, and this one fell. Let's see, we have the Four of Swords. So yeah, you could be resting at this time, or somebody could be resting here. As the wheel turn in your favor. All right, the, the wheel of fortune here. So this represents good luck. So yeah, somebody could be leaving something behind here. Who, whatever, whatever was trying to stop that, they cannot stop it. So yeah, somebody could be coming against a union at this time. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Like, <clears throat> I guess my throat chakra is popping today. <laughs> Let's see, Spirit Clarify South Node. Clarify South Node, Spirit. Clarify South Node. Clarify South Node. Something for Password. So, South Node. Okay, we have the four of pentacles. <clears throat> so okay, so I just heard attachments. So some so somebody could could be still attached to something from the past here. I don't know why I can't talk, but yeah. Somebody could be still attached to something. There's some sort of tie here, some sort of cord of attachment. Hmm, yeah. Still giving this person energy or access, I see. Seven of Cups. Mm -hmm. Confusion. So there could be confusion. Somebody could have clothed judgment surrounding a situation here. Or regarding this attachment. Or this could be multiple attachments that somebody has to them here. This could be soul ties I'm picking up on. <laughs> Look, I, I, I can't, I can't, I, I, I don't be lying, I don't be lying though. Ace of Swords, truth, the truth and clarity here. Somebody could want to have a passionate new beginning here with Ace of Wands. I don't be lying. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Spirit. Ten of Pentacles. I I so good. Okay, so regarding this ten of pentacles here, knight of swords. Right, the ten of pentacles speaks of basically the, the maximum abundance here. Like, you can't get no better than this, right? So this could be speaking of. See the business, some sort of generational wealth in inheritance. A home or something, something that is of a lot of value here. Seven of Wands. Not a sword, somebody or something, some sort of energy could be rushing towards you here or somebody did something impulsively. It's all in reverse. So yeah, somebody expected something to happen here. To create. Or this, this, this tower. Is seen like. Somebody knows something is going to. Upper root here. Some sort of foundation is coming. Down here regarding whatever these attachments are. Oh. Somebody got some serious soul ties, man. Mm -mm -mm. You have the world card. A cycle could be closed. You know, you could have completed a cycle here. Or uh, something here. Or someone could be at a distance from somebody. Remember on this piece, so it could be dealing with a... Oh, it pops in the reverse. A Scorpio. So somebody is refusing to walk away. Somebody don't want to walk away. Somebody's being stubborn, I see. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, 
Tintin, right? So most definitely something ended out here. Something is coming to an end. Somebody's ending something. But somebody else is is is, is refusing to walk away. Death look. The death came out. Look. Something here is dead. But it's like I refuse to believe it. Something's like I refuse to believe it. Like somebody's in deep denial here. Like what the fuck? Let me fix my light. I don't know why this. Uh. I can somewhere. Mm -mm -mm. Give me somewhere in this. Thank you. As I said, somebody wants to have a new beginning, a new passionate <laughs> a beginning here. You know. Confirmation. Yeah, so judgment is being called. Mm. I don't know. I don't know, but somebody could <laughs> could have been sleeping around. Why did I just hear a thought rocket? I don't know, man. I don't know. Somebody's ancestor is here right No, Most definitely African American. We have the devil. Could be the anti Capricorn. Uh, somebody here has some toxic ways about them here. With this seven of wands energy and the devil card, I'm getting kind of like deflecting narcissistic tactics. Somebody could not necessarily be a narcissist here, but they have narcissistic traits. They use narcissistic tactics here. As uh, somebody is doing this here. So that somebody won't walk away from them. Some sort of manipulation. Yeah, so that somebody won't possibly see the truth and walk away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, but somebody has to wake up and realize, yo, something has, the cycle for this has been closed, yo. Even though if you if you are still dealing with dealing with this person, this person has multiple options. They have multiple soul ties, sex ties. <laughs> Here, most definitely. Uh, hold up! Hold up! Four of Pentacles, Ace of Fun, the Tower in the Reverse. I don't know, something here could be about sex. I don't know. So, yes, most definitely something has came to an end. Five of Cups, somebody is in the regret. Somebody is regretting something that they did. Give me some more. Sir. Give me some more. That was some more. That was some more. The more we spin it. Oh, somebody could have paid for sex and they're broke. Oh my god, somebody could have been buying sex. Holy shit, the sun card. The truth has been revealed. So, possibly that's why whatever action somebody was going to take towards you here so has come to an end. Yeah, you have your guard up. Seven of Wands. Sun card could be dealing with a Leo, a Capricorn, a Scorpio. Scorpio here twice. Yeah. Let me see. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The sun is illuminating, whatever. It's going on here, so take as it is, and let's get into the, the Jupiter card abundance. Let's see what's going on with that. Huh? What's going on with that? Why do I keep going back? So, baby, do it right. Do it Jupiter. Clarify Jupiter, please, great. 
Bad fire to protect, please. Bad fire to protect, please. Thank you. We have the seven of wands. Somebody could be standing their ground here. Somebody could be standing up for themselves, defending themselves here. <sighs> hmm, okay, projection. So, yeah. The sun card here. So, they're. They, they're okay. Yeah, what did I say? Projection eight of one. So there, somebody could be sending confusion towards your way here with the seven of cups. They're projecting an energy of confusion here. It's like somebody's trying to cloud your vision, cloud your mind, possibly block your third eye. If I'm seeing something here, something that's going to be illuminated to you with the sun card. We have the death in the reverse here, so somebody is resisting some sort of change or resisting some sort of ending here. Could this could be a Leo or a Scorpio? In somewhere, Queen of Cups. So we have somebody who is loving, caring, somebody who has feelings and emotions for somebody here. I mean, that somebody could be a nurse. Why did I just hear that? So he had us here a nurse. So somebody could be a nurse. We have the hermit so somebody could be doing some self introspection here somebody could be going within doing some research here or somebody could be going off grid here with the seven of fun somebody could be protecting their energy by going um hermit ghosting people here uh, yeah somebody Whatever is going on here with this projection energy thingy, is somebody speaking something into somebody's life, and you know, swords is communication. So somebody is speaking something here. Somebody using that mouth. Hmm. We have the star card. You could be healing. You could be a healer. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Virgo here. You could be in the public eye, you could be very intelligent. Most definitely, you could be an Aquarius here that I'm picking up on. Alright, let's see. Give me some more. That was some more. That was some more. Mm. I don't know. Somebody could be dealing with a prostitute. So I just keep hearing. Um, um, what's the song? Ass Fat. Mm. Yeah, you know, you do got cash. Throw some more. Hey, throw some more. Throw some more. The more you spinny, the faster go. Bad bitches on the floor. You do got cash. Throw some more. Hey, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, something is wrong. Look at the Ten of Pentacles behind this. Something here is about a lot of money. Somebody could be spending money a crazy amount. On sex here from somebody. Give me something more. Or somebody could have emptied. <laughs> Giving somebody all their money. Two of ones. So somebody could be making a decision here. Um, leaving something to rest. Putting something down. Leaving something alone or someone alone. Yeah, moving forward here. Uh, somebody could be traveling. And like somebody somebody could go like traveling, driving somewhere. And this person is possibly going to ghost you here. Possibly after they they, they um reached you. Oh my god. The destination. We have, <coughs> we have a high priest here. As I said, somebody was speaking some shit here to cause some sort of confusion, disruption in your, in your life. Possibly as it relates to, relates to your love life, your finances, your home. You're being celebrated here. People possibly seeing you from a different perspective. Some could be with a Taurus or a Cancer. Somebody is making some sort of offer here. Or offering, I should say. Six of Pentacles against you are heard. 
somebody somebody could have paid to do something to somebody here yeah to keep somebody stuck here yeah because somebody is the star and the sun energy here so somebody wanted to keep somebody yeah look at this this could be a group of people surrounding this king of wands Oh, no. Okay, All right. We have the justice here, Libra. This is Libra energy here. So justice is being served in this situation here. So yeah, Ace of Swords, Truth and Clarity. So who said I was trying to resist this change from happening here? Trying to slow shit down with the Knight of Pentacles here. Justice is being served, and we have the Ace of Truth, Ace of Swords, the Truth and the Clarity. The Ace of Truth. <laughs> One more card, please. Three. One more. Don't mind it. Yeah, as I said, what did I say? Things are being balanced out here. The energy is being balanced with the temperance. It could be doing the Sagittarius. What? I, what? Balance. Yeah, balance. <laughs> I'm gonna calm down, and there's going to be a new beginning here after somebody fucked themselves up. Mm -hmm. Thinking they were all that, but. Yeah, let's get some advice. Let's get some advice here. Let's get some advice. Ooh. So the first card out, we have turn your worry into wonder. Surrender to the experience. What possibilities can you dream into reality? Okay. Give me some more. Give me some more. Give me some more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have deep inward journey. You'll be rewarded for the work. How can you alchemize your fear? Sorry about that. Um, as I said, deep inward journey. You'll be rewarded for the work. How can you alchemize your fear? Card number 29. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. we have <laughs> eliminate distractions stop shining light on things you are not how can you reclaim your power here so um yeah you, you need could you, you could be possibly needing to de redirect your energy at this time here the thing that you are shining light on the thing that you are paying attention to here is are things that you should not be paying attention to here so claim back your power and focus on yourself deep the, the doing the work here going on the journey here you will be rewarded for doing the work so don't worry just you know more like wonder what what what, what it would be like just surrender to the experience just just stay into the flow here great awakening walk in your truth stand firm in your light how can you trust yourself more all right and i'm gonna end this video right here thank you for watching thank you thank you so much please like subscribe and do all of those wonderful things ting 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 and i'll see you in the next one bye